In this example, there are a lot of things going on. We have a fraction here, we have negative exponents, and we have the whole thing raised to a power. And there's a, a lot of different routes we could take to approach this. I'm going to start by getting rid of this negative exponent. I can take this y to the negative 1, move that whole thing up to the top of my fraction, and change the sign of the exponent, make it a positive 1. And that's a handy thing to know. Any time you have um, exponents in a fraction, like say we had a to the fifth and b to the negative 2, I can take an exponent or, or a, um, a variable with an exponent and move the whole thing across the fraction bar and change the sign. So in this case, I could move the b to the negative 2 up top, and it would just become a b to the positive 2. So this whole thing would be equal to a a to the power of 5 times b to the power of 2. I could also take this a and move it down here and make it a, a negative 5. So I could put my a on the bottom with a negative exponent and the b squared up top. That's also mathematically equivalent to my original expression. I can move any variable from one side of the fraction bar to the other, top to bottom or bottom to top, bottom to top, and change the sign of the exponent in the process. So let's apply that concept right here with the y. And what that will do is get rid of the negative exponents, which is um, always nice. The negative numbers are always a little bit trickier to deal with, so let's get rid of it. This will become a 2x squared times y to the positive 1 over 3. The 3 is still down here in the denominator. And we still have this cubed here. All of this is raised to the power of 3. Now we can apply this power of 3. And what happens is that power of 3 gets applied to everything. We have a 2 cubed. We have the x squared cubed, the y to the first cubed, and this 3 down here gets cubed. So this ends up equaling 2 cubed times x to the 6. This is because an x squared cubed, here we have an exponent being raised to another power, so we multiply the exponents. So that became an x to the 6th, and then it's times a y cubed all over a 3 cubed. And these numbers, 2 cubed is just 8, and 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So we have 8x to the 6, y cubed over 27. And that's our final answer. It can't be simplified any further.